Hey, what's up? It's Christian from Vision 6D and today we live the life of a project manager and today we are going to enter into what we call the budget. The budget of a project, the budget of that project, CRM, the CRM project. And you are in charge of that project because you want to live the life of a project manager. And it's you that I give the duty today to create the budget with MS Project of that project. And I will give you some insights to help you do that well. The first thing that I can say is that you need to have reviewed the tutorial on how to do a budget unless you know how to do it. The principle of the project CRM is to live the life like a project manager. So I give you duties and you are just accomplishing them. So it means that you can have your own project that is ongoing, your own CRM project, or you are taking steps after steps, episodes after episodes. What I've done, you improve, you try, you learn, you make mistakes, and that's the way to learn it. A CRM is a customer relation management system. It means that you can do the follow-up of a customer. You start with the propositions, you start with marketing contacts, then there might be sales, so you follow up with sales, and then comes the customer support. All this is a gathering of a lot of information, so here in this project, we want to bring this under one roof, under one software, which is the CRM software. So for this, we are now entering into a step which is called initiation. And in initiation, we need to do what is called a project proposal. And a component of the project proposal is the budget. So you are in charge now of creating that budget. So you see behind me, uh, I have already the project with the planning of the tasks. We have assigned resources. Here in the middle, you find the column of the resources. This file, if you want, you can download it from our website, vision6d.com slash download, and it will help you to do the exercise. On the website, you can also find another file, which is the PDF file that describes the exercise about budget and gives you elements to help you do that budget. In the document, you will find references to videos that will help you to learn about MS projects, especially about the budget. And you will also find videos that will help you understand the CRM project or follow the different episodes of the CRM project. In the MS project file, we have defined all the resources that will be used here in the column called resource name. And you see also that they have been assigned to the different tasks. We can also see if I go to the resource sheet here, all those resources are defined. Now, what I have done is that I brought each resource to its corresponding department. Like that, we have a better organizational view of that company. To establish a budget, you will need what we call resources of type budget. So my proposition is to create a resource of type budget for each department. Like that, you will have a resource finance department, a resource marketing department. And that's why I gave you all the people that belong to each department. Like that, when you have to estimate or calculate the work of each of those resources, you will know which resource belongs to which department. In this company, when we prepare the project proposition, there is a certain format for the budget. So you see here, I've prepared a table that will need to be filled. So you read it that way. First, we want to know the costs of the total project. So we'll have here a number, I don't know, 100,000, something like that. And we want to know how many worked hours 
in total will all the co-workers of the company provide to the project? I don't know, 800 hours, 1,200 hours, I have no clue at that stage. After that, there are costs. Costs in material, this I don't know, sometimes there are, sometimes there aren't. In our case, one thing that we want to know is the software. How much are we going to pay for the software? And remember that this software is 50 euros per user per month and we want to know this for one year and we have 25 users. The last thing is the service. Service is when we request services from external companies. In our case here it will be the training and the training as you remember there will be four days and each day is for 2000 euros so there will be a total of 8000 euros so I've done already this part for you. So in order to be able to say what is the total project worked hours we will see department by department how many hours the people are going to work into the project. So I think now you start to guess why I create or why I advise you to create resources of type budget for each department. To ease your proceeding, I've created a list of the steps. So first of all, establish a list of budget type resources. And I give us example, department marketing, department sales, and so on. You must make MS Project visualize the project summary task, because it's only on the summary task that you will be able to add resources of type budget. And then show the columns about budget, costs and work. For each department, create a budget type resource add the budget type resource to the project summary, use of resources to fill in the information about the quantity of work and the amount of the costs, then to fill in the, the values and amounts for work and costs, you use the use of resources table. This will be an interesting view to fill in those information. Once you've done that, you will be able to see uh, on the summary task the total amount for work and the total amount for costs. And then, of course, fill in the form with the different information you got. When you have a budget composed of costs on one side and work hours by internal resources on the other side, it's sometimes difficult to compare between projects. For that reason, some of the companies I worked with, they are converting the working days into a cost amount. And for this, I give you an example here how it can be done. For example, here I'm saying that the standard collaborator is costing 800 euros a day, a specialist, a group leader, 2,200 euros a day, a department manager is 1,600 like a consultant and if you have a D-level uh, manager involved in the project it goes up to 2,400. But these are my estimates and the experience I have. Of course you can work on different bases depending also on where you live and where is occurring or happening your project. So now you have in your hands all the information to do that uh, part of the budget into live the life of a project manager. You like that kind of exercise? Share it with your friends. And I like your appreciation, like uh, some apps, to encourage me. It's really appreciated. And you can sign up for the channel, subscribe. And all what is left to me is to wish you good luck, good learning, let's share knowledges and let's comment, exchange about that experience. I wish you a really good time and I'm saying to you bye bye, see you soon on another video.